Are you a new keyword that is struggling to improve? Well, by using this method, I was able to improve from 2 minutes to now sub 15 in only a year. So, let me show you how to do exactly that. First of all, I want to give a quick cheat to understanding concepts in FQL. For example, this case. As a beginner, you will solve the pair like so, which is honestly very trash. FQL is probably the most important thing to master in order to get fast at the Rubik's Cube. I average 13 seconds. And F2 alone usually takes me 7 to 8 seconds, which is basically half of my solve. But if you want to follow this tip, you will be solving pairs like top keywords without even needing to memorize algorithms. Trust me, using the same F2 case, by understanding that as long as the solved pair does not end up in the top layer, it will not be affected when forming other pairs. One notable exception is the sledge, where yes, a solved pair will end up on the top. Since we are not doing U moves, it will not be affected. Wait! How do you put this concept into practice? That leads me to my next point. Do some slow solves. If you happen to scramble your cube on the couch and don't have a timer with you, it will be the perfect time to do some slow solves. For example, for this unsolved FQL, I will start by finding out a way to solve the red-blue pair using only one algorithm. First, I will find a way to pair it up. We will just assume that all the other pairs are solved, so we must preserve them. Then we will do the only possible move, which is R prime, so that the blue orange pair will not end up at the top. Next, we will make sure that the red blue corner matches up with the red blue edge. Then undo the R prime move and just insert the pair in the right spot. You can also experiment with forming pairs using empty slots. But something that is crucial as well is learning algorithms for last layer. Before you click into jbrm.net and start memorizing algorithms, I want to give a really important tip. Let's say you want to learn PLL. Start by doing 30 to 50 solves and find the case which has the most common occurrence, which in my case is the apron. Then learn the algorithms from the most common to the least common case. Do not learn more than 3 algorithms a day, but instead, make sure you train on the algorithms you learned. And most importantly, do not be afraid of using the new algorithm you learned, even if you feel slower in the beginning. For my last advice, have fun! Please subscribe, thank you.